eSIMs or electronic SIMs have been around for a while now and they work as a replacement for your physical SIM card. And of course, there are obvious advantages to using an eSIM over a physical SIM card. Firstly, phones and space constrained ecosystem devices like smartwatches can actually become slimmer now considering that you know it negates the need for a full blown uh, physical SIM card slot. So manufacturers can remove that and make their devices slimmer. Now, for example, uh, if you remember the first generation Moto uh, Razr that launched last year, the revitalized one, was actually an eSIM only device. Secondly, you can change your phone operator remotely and on the fly and uh, you know you can do that online as well. This is especially helpful for international travelers whenever they can start traveling again because they don't have to scurry around for a local SIM card and can actually just go online and set up their own eSIM. And finally, you can easily lose a physical nano SIM card, but if you have to lose an eSIM, you'll have to lose the entire phone. While eSIMs are going to definitely replace physical SIM cards in the future, they're still a while away from becoming entirely mainstream. Having said that, you can still find a few flagship smartphones, actually quite a few of them, like this one out here that come with support for eSIM cards. And Airtel lets you easily port your physical SIM card to an eSIM. Hi, I'm Ashar from Mr. Phone, and you know what? I'm going to be porting my physical Airtel SIM card to an eSIM one on my iPhone 11 Pro on Airtel's request. And while I'm at it, I'm definitely going to show you guys, uh, you know, the step by step process of how to do it, because quite a few folks actually ask me, how do you, you know, port your physical SIM card to an eSIM? But before we move on, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to get notified whenever Mr. Phone puts out an awesome new tech video. First and foremost, you need to send a text which is flashing on your screen right now to one to one. And yes, this means that you should remember your email ID. And if you cannot, you can actually call customer care and ask them. Once you do that, you will immediately get a message. Now, this is just a double confirmation. So if you feel that your email ID is correct, then go ahead and press one to move forward. Now, once you share your consent, you will immediately get another message saying that a QR code has been sent to your registered email ID. What do you do next? Well, open up your registered email ID, of course. Now head to the settings page of your iPhone 11 Pro, go to mobile data, then click on add data plan, point your camera to the QR code in your email and label it whatever you want to. Voila, you're done. Two hours later, you can use your phone without the need for a physical SIM card and you've moved to an eSIM. Yay. Now, I also did something on the side to ensure that we are not losing out on 4G speeds. So I actually compared a, a physical Airtel 4G SIM card to an eSIM card to see what the differences are in the same area and the same network. Also, you know what? OpenSignal has quoted that Airtel has the fastest download speeds. So let's put that to the test as well. Now, I have my eSIM enabled iPhone 11 Pro and an iPhone 11 with a physical SIM right next to it. And you can tell that the download and upload speeds on 4G in the same area are faster on the eSIM. Thus, with an eSIM, you get actually faster, better performance. Now, that was a quick look at how to activate your eSIM on an iPhone 11 Pro. Now, for any iPhone that supports an eSIM, uh, you can do the same process. So don't forget to share it with your iPhone noting friends or even your Galaxy Note users because they also have to follow a very similar process except for the settings page. Now, since the iPhone 12 is around the corner, I'm guessing that this could also be used as a bookmark for you know when you buy the iPhone 12 and if you want to activate eSIM on your phone. And consider Considering the fact that Airtel has a track record of selling iPhones on their platform as well, we should expect the iPhone 12 to come to Airtel as well. What did you guys think of this video? My name is Ashad. you're watching Mr. Phone, goodbye and Godspeed my friends.